What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Cletus Seven Has No Life. Today, Thanksgiving. I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Best wishes and come on baby. Let's keep on collecting, keep on hunting, keep on searching. So today, what I wanted to do was a special video for you guys. Um, you guys probably seen in previous videos that I have three boxes in my closet that I have not yet opened because I was waiting for this one specific pop. Well, I can't find the pop. Um, I actually got the pop um, before I got those ones, but when the pop came, it was damaged, so I sent it back, got my return. Uh, so that was the issue with that with this set. Uh, I'd like to, uh, what I like to been doing lately is if I'm getting a new set, show you guys the entire series. Uh, obviously, uh, it's retired. So let me grab those boxes real quick, and um, I'm gonna do something different. Um, because it's the holiday, I am actually gonna do the unboxing and review every single pop that's there. There's only three of them, but I'm gonna go into each character. Even though you might know some stuff about uh, the characters, there might be something you didn't. So I'm gonna do all uh, all the characters. I'm gonna do a description of them and give you guys some info and enjoy. Let me go grab the stuff. All right, guys, back. Got my three boxes in hand. Um, these things have been sitting in there month, month and a half, maybe two months. Um, I guess I cannot find this damn one pop with good, um, in good condition. So, starting out with the first box. Um, after you see the first pop, you're gonna know what series it is. Um, we're gonna talk, like I said, we're gonna talk about each figure. Uh, I'm gonna put them on display and uh, check out the box, the conditioning of it. The everything, everything, baby. This is a special holiday video. Um, hold on, let me uh, uh, let me let me uh, cut them all open first. So let me get right into it. Let me cut them all open. Uh, if you guys are doing anything special, uh, let me know. Uh, let me know if you guys are doing anything on Black Friday. I am 100% going shopping. Uh, me and Punky already decide we're going. Uh, pretty much probably right after the Cowboy game, but we're going to go head out and uh, go and do it. Uh, she wants to go to Target. She showed me a Best Buy. I might even pick up a uh, 3DS. I originally wasn't going to, but um, I saw some of the games, only $25. Uh, the reason that I wasn't going to was because I wanted to get a Nintendo Switch and play Sun and Moon. And... Um, I didn't know if they're gonna have like the, I'm totally new to the game. And it was like a poke bank where you can transfer Pokemon and everything. I wasn't sure if you're gonna be able to do that with Nintendo Switch, but I might just throw it to the side and um, give you, do that, just do that uh, X, Y series and just play with that one alone. And then um, work my way over to Sun and Moon on Nintendo Switch. So that might be a, a possibility. That's gonna be at Best Buy. Nintendo Switch at Best Buy is $99. Um, I believe the games are $25. Um, I'm gonna be heading over to GameStop. I'm gonna be heading all over the place, but let's open up these bad boys. Oh man, got them unboxed. I'm taking out the wrapping. Uh, two of them got pop protectors. Two of them got pop protectors, one doesn't. And let's check them out. These things are vintage, these things are old Funko Pops. These are like the Sonic the Hedgehog ones. They have this look, this look is unbelievable. These Pops took me, besides this last one, took me much longer to get than get the uh, that 1.5K one. So all those models and here they are. Boom, the Simpsons, we got Bart Simpson. We got Krusty the Clown, look at that. Krusty the Clown, pretty cool. I'm gonna say he's Krusty the Crab, <laughs> but I didn't. And then we have Homer uh, Simpson as well. The only one we're missing on the back is Marge Simpson. The reason why, um, like I said, I came in, um, I might not have that video anymore because I was so pissed when I unboxed it. The box was uh, damaged, uh, especially when the owner told me, mint, mint box, mint box. And I was like, all right, yeah, 
There we go, baby. Come on. Got here. Dent on the back. Uh, imprint. Uh, as soon as I contacted the seller, he, he knew. He knew right away. Uh, and then I hit him with my, uh, hey, this is clear to sell in the world rank professional boxer. Then I started my conversation and boom, turned it. He said he got the box back. It was even more damaged. I doubt it because that, that thing was pretty messed up. Uh, but he canceled the order and I got my money back. So let's go talk about these uh, three pops and uh, enjoy the rest of this video. <laughs> All right, let's check out Krusty the Clown's box. Um, so far, I believe it's mint. Um, the character on the box is the same as the one in person, which is very nice. Krusty the Clown vinyl figure. Matt Groen is the uh, is the creator of all this. He's the drawer. You'll see it sometimes in his uh, not all the time when he does um, Homer Simpson's uh, autograph on his head. Um, as you can see, there's four pops in the back. Ugh, missing that one. If anybody knows where you can find a Marge Simpson, let me know. Let the hammer know, baby. Let the hammer know. Um, coming back around, this box looks really good. I was very uh, happy with the, the way the box came out itself. Um, let's take him out of the uh, box for the first and last time of his life. All right, he's out of the box. Um, he looks pretty cool. Um, something about these boxes, uh, because they're a little bit older, that I can tell that they're very easy to open, and the glue on the side of them possibly uh, would uh, deteriorate over time. But uh, mine didn't itself, but it looks uh, it was so easy to take the pop out. Uh, I don't know if the previous owner did. It didn't look like it, but it, uh, cause you can tell the flab wasn't like uh, going all the way back. But let's get my hands on them, check it out. Look at that face, look at that hair. Oh my God, childhood memories galore. Uh, on the bottom, let's see what it says. We got a Mac Rowan 2011. 2011. Got Matt's uh, name on there. Let's see that pops right up. And on that top foot right there with the AA. The A is. Boom, there he is. Um, very cool. Let's uh, let me read the description for this character so you guys can uh, so if we can see if we can find out a little bit more. All right, let's get into it. Uh, Krusty the Clown. I'm getting this off the Wikipedia. Herschel, uh, Samoki. Ben Haas, Yakarin Krustovsky, better known as Krusty the Clown, sometimes spelled as Krusty the Clown with a K, is a cartoon character in the animated television series The Simpsons. He is voiced by Dan Kashinaka. He is the longtime clown host of Bart and Lisa's favorite TV show, a combination of Kitty. Variety television, hinks, and cartoons, including the Itchy and, Cra uh, Itchy and Scratchy show. Krusty is often portrayed as a clinical burnout, addiction, Riddler smoker who is made miserable by show business, but continues on anyway. He has become one of the most common characters outside of the main uh, Simpson family and he has been the focus of several episodes most of which also spotlight spotlight a uh, bar. Krusty was created by cartoonist Matt Growing and partially inspired by Rusty Nails a television clown from Growing's hometown of Portland Oregon. Pretty cool. He was designed to look like Homer Simpson with clown makeup, with the original idea being that Bart worships a television clown who is who was actually his own father in disguise. Wow, did not know that. That was pretty cool right there. His voice is based on Bob Bell, who portrayed WGN TV's Bozo the Clown. Krusty's made his television debut on January 15th, 1989, in the Tracy Almond Show short, The Krusty the Clown Show. Pretty cool. Um, that was actually very, very cool to find out all that stuff. And to find out that he actually made him look like Homer. Never knew that, never knew that. So it would be like his father in disguise. So cool, very cool. Um, let's open up um, 
uh, Bart Simpson next. Actually, we'll go with Homer Simpson next. Uh, the reason I opened up Krusty first because he never pop protected, so it was easier. Uh, so let's go pull out our Homer and I'll check this right back. All right, Homer J. Simpson, baby. Got a donut in his hand. He got some fake beard. Look at that beard that they made in 2011. Uh, pretty cool to have him part of the collection. Number one, uh, as you guys can see, number one. You can see a little bit of a uh, little indent there. Nothing major at all. Uh, maybe this box, maybe an 8 out of a 5, 8.5. Uh, just for its age, you can't really give it a complete 10. Uh, but you also can't take away from it because of the actual um, uh, the the, uh, the way you're going to find these. There's not going to be too many of these out there. Uh, like I said, I cannot find that damn large pop in good condition. Let's take him out of his box. Oh boy. Let's check that bad boy out. Um, these pops uh, range from, I don't know, around no more than $100, I believe, um, for most of them. Uh, let me grab my knife real quick to get that little slip open. There we go. Boom, again, this box has never been open. I can tell, by the way, it's not back. Um, I got these all from different sellers. I did not get them all from one seller. And uh, here he is, boys. Oh, Homer J. Simpson is in the house. He's part of the Hammer team. And again, uh, the sculpt on that guy looks so awesome. And it, it's funny how I just read that thing about Krusty the Clown, that he actually has the same body. Um, Matt Groen does his... Uh, I don't know where it is in the back of his head, but he has like his signature imprinted on his head, which is pretty cool. Um, he has his uh, donut, you know, mmm, donuts. Got his blue pants, black shoes, black eyes. Uh, you can see on his one eye on the right that he does, he's missing a little bit of uh, paint there. And uh, he isn't the cleanest pop, I'll say that. He's, uh, his hair on the line, you can see the paint's a little uh, faded off on that. What am I going to expect from a pop that's from? Let's check it out. 2011. Uh, Matt Growing. And that's how you can tell these pops are real. Look at the paint job on that. They're not the greatest paint job, but it's definitely cool to have this pop in your collection. I got this one, and he looks just like the Sonic one. So let me go get the Wikipedia on Homer J. Simpson. All right, guys, off the Wikipedia, Homer J. Simpson is a fictional character and the main protagonist of the American animated television series, The Simpson, as the patri patriarch of the infamous family. He is voiced by Dan Castratella, and he first appeared on television along with the rest of the family in the Tracy Olwyn show, Short Good Night. Did not know any of this uh, about the show. I don't know if it was a, uh, a television show where it's like real life or if it was a cartoon. Let me know if you guys know. On April 19, 1987, Homer was created and designed by cartoonist Matt Groen while he was waiting in a lobby of James L. Brooks' office. Groen had been called to pitch a series of shorts, shorts based on his comic strip, Life in Hell. He instead decided to create a new set of characters. He named the character after his father, Homer Growing. After appearing for three seasons on the Tracy Almond Show, the Simpsons family got their own series on Fox that debuted December 17th, 1989. Oh my God. Um, Homer and his wife Marge have three children, blah, blah, blah. He works as the Springfield nuclear power plant. We know that. Homer embodies several American working class stereotypes. He is a crude, bald, obese, incomplete, uh, clumsy, lazy, heavy drinking, ignorant, and idiotic person. However, he has he is essentially a decent man and fiercely devoted to his family. Despite the suburban blue collar routine of his life, he has had a number of remarkable experiences. Um, let's see if we get anything else. Uh, he was obviously he was in a few of uh, the, the movies and the video games. Homer is one of the most 
influential characters in the history of television, the British newspaper The Sunday Times described him as the greatest comic creation of modern time. He was named the greatest character of the last 20 years in 2010 by Entertainment Weekly was ranked the second greatest cartoon character by TV Guide. Wow, that's freaking crazy. Behind Bugs Bunny. Wow. You, I would have thought Bar, Bart Simpson would have been higher, but, but they got him. And he was voted as the greatest character of all time by Channel 4 viewers, even though it's on Fox 5. <laughs> For voicing Homer, Cast, Castanella was, has won four Prime Time Emmy Awards for Outstanding Voice Performance and a Special Achievement Annie Award in 2000. Homer and his family were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Oh my God, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that as well. I'm glad I get to do these reviews. I'm glad I get this guy to my collection. Wow. All right, we got one left. My man. Oh man, Bart Simpson. All right, Bart Simpson on board. Uh, look at that look. Oh my God, it looks so old. Oh man, he did not expect him to look that kind of, uh, that old uh, and vintage. He looks really old for Funko Pop. Uh, he has a skateboard, he has his blue shorts. As you can see on the back, he's number three. I'm missing number two. Oh my God. Surprised he only made four of these pops. I wouldn't doubt if they would make another series like they're doing with the uh, Power Rangers. Um, the box itself, as you can tell, looks in really great shape. Um, I would give this box by a 9.5 out of a 10. And because there's no such thing as a 10, um, let's open it up. Again, um, when I'm opening these things, you can see how how easily, how easily that flap opens. Um, these boxes are very delicate. As soon as I'm done with this, the pie gold, they're gonna go right into pop protectors. Maybe uh, today on Black Friday, they have uh, a sale for some pop stacks, baby. I'll take some pop stacks, I'd like to buy some some more you can never get enough of them all right uh, I'm gonna do them by my hand first and I'm gonna throw them on display um, as you can tell uh, his eyes look weirdly wide they look very wide but uh, can't complain too much he has a skateboard in hand eat my shorts kid blue shorts uh, you can a little paint running down his leg right there uh, you got the blue shoes you got a little dot there on the other side boom and uh, his coloring um, here is very yellow and that, that yellow feel, but on his arm, it's like a little yellow greenish. Um, on the skateboard, got the purple wheels, and on the back, you got your typical uh, Bar Simpson outfit. On top of his head, he has his little spikes. Very cool. I like the way how they had to do that, because you know, in the he usually only has like three or four of these, so for them to get that whole view, they probably had to make some customization on that. But let's throw them on here. Let's check them out, and uh, let's hit the Wikipedia. All right, folks, on the Wikipedia, I'm already pretty blown out. I don't know how they come up with these names, but Bart Simpson's actual name is Barth Hollow Mew Jojo Bart Simpson is a fictional character in American animated series, uh, television series The Simpsons and is part of the Simpsons fa uh, family. He is voiced by Nancy Cartwright. Uh, that's right, I don't know if you guys knew this, I've always known this, but I didn't know it was always the same one, and that is a girl's voice. He has a girl's voice as his character. And first appeared on television in the Nancy Ullman show short, Good Night. Again, I have no idea, on April 19th, 1987, uh, let me know if you guys know any info about that. Cartoonist Matt Growing. Uh, it's, it's awesome that this one creator, this one writer, that was able to do all this. Uh, was it got uh, created and designed Bart while waiting in the lobby? So this guy literally was sitting in a lobby, has made Homer, he made Bart, um, probably made Marge as well, and Lisa, but we won't know until we get that uh, that Marge pop. Um, yeah, so was waiting in the lobby of James L. Brooks' office. Growing had been 
called to pitch a series of short based first comic strip, Life in Hell, but instead decided to create uh, a new set of characters. We, we remember this, doing this uh, for, for Homer. While the rest of the characters were named after Growing's family members, Bart's name is the a- anagram of the uh, word brat. Ah, Punky Brat. Ah, we might, that's what Punky Brat's name is called, Punky Brat. Uh, after appearing on the Tracy Almond Show for three years, the Simpsons family received its own fo- uh, series on Fox, which debuted uh, obviously 19, uh, December 17, 1989. At 10 years old, I, I don't think Bart ever aged, uh, ever. Unless it was like a quick strip, but I think if even if you watch it now, he's still 10 years old. Let me know if you guys still keep up with the show and you guys know. Actually, I know that um, FX right now and on YouTube, they're doing a like uh, a seven um, series stream, um, nonstop, it's like 72 hours on on YouTube and on on FXX. They have a whole stream of it uh, playing all the series. At 10 years old, Bart is the eldest child and the only son of Homer and Marge, and the brother of Lisa and Maggie, we know that. Bart's most prominent and popular character traits are his mysteriousness, rebelliousness, and disrespect for authority. He has appeared in other media uh, related to The Simpsons, including video games, movies, The Simpsons rides, commercial, comic books, and expired the entire line of merchandise. Yeah, I would consider Bart Simpson the face of uh, of the Simpsons itself. I don't know why, uh, they, but they have Homer up there. In casting Nancy Cartwright, originally planned to audition for the role of Lisa, wow, I didn't know that, while Yearly Smith tried out for Bart. Smith's voice was too high for a boy, so she was given the role of Lisa. So they switched it. Oh my, that's that's pretty funny. That's that's pretty crazy. You guys both they both went there looking for the other role, and they got the totally different ones. Cartwright found that Lisa was not interesting at the time, so instead of auditioning for Bart, which she thought was a better role. Now here into this, uh, hallmarks of the character include his checkerboard uh, gags in the opening sequence, his prank calls to Mo, and his catchphrases, eat my shorts, and don't have a cow man. Uh, during the first two seasons of The Simpsons, Bart was the show's breakout character, and Bart Mania ensured spawning Bart Simpson themed mer- merchandise, touting his rebellions, attitude, and pride and achieve, uh, underachieving. It just reminds me of like the WWE era when you got like um, the Attitude Era, but but much before then, like maybe 10 years earlier, which caused many parents and educators to cast him as the bad role model for children. <laughs> Around the third series uh, season, the series started to focus more on the family as a whole, though st- uh, Bart still remains as a prompting t- uh, character. Time named Bart one of the 100 most important people of the 20th century and he was named entertainer of the year in 1990 wow my sister was just born by entertaining weekly nancy cartwright has won several awards for voicing bart including a primetime emmy award in 2002 and the annie award in 1995 in 2000 bart among the rest of the family was awarded a star on the whole on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Wow. Let's have one last look at these bad boys. All right, let's check them out. One last view of the gang. Just missing that Marge pop. Uh, the boxes. Uh, only one got an 8.5, and the rest of them were really good. 9.5 and nice. Uh, the characters were fantastic. Got to learn a little bit about them, and it was definitely well worth the wait even though i wasn't able to get that marge pop so i want to wish you guys again happy thanksgiving enjoy it let the cowboys win and let me know where you guys are going for uh for black friday i know i'm going to pick up maybe three or four maybe five mystery boxes at gamestop head over to hot topics if i get that bb8 so i'll catch you guys next time here on cletus selling has no life or sometimes has a life